guys, Lee98 here, and welcome back to another Mario Kart Wii Modding 101 video. And today, we are going to be taking a look at how to mod an award ceremony that appears at the end of the races, only when you've won, of course. Uh, they like to put you on the podium, depending where you came in the end. And we'll be looking today into modding just the characters and the icons that appear on the screen so this is the site atlas's website where i get the awards from basically ctgp has two options uh two options sorry one option it has to have the combined awards because that has both the demo and the ui model together which allows ctgp to read it properly so you don't want to download the demo or the UI version for CTGP, and it says obviously Revolution here, you want to use the combined version. So I've downloaded that here, opened it up, and as you can see, we've got all the Brez files and the mixed in uh, files with the icons, DPD pointer effects and everything, you know. So. To quickly mod the icons that appear in the results screen on that award ceremony, you want to head into award, TIMG, and you can see these are the TPL files that you will have seen many times in my other tutorial videos. And because we're going to stick with our theme of doing the Gen 4 Pokemon, which is Weavile, Lopunny, and Shinx over Mario, Peach, and Drybones respectively, we will open these up and replace for example Mario is replaced with Weavile which is in this file here I believe no actually I've got an icons folder where I keep them all there they are okay so you want to make sure it's the same amount of uh, dimensions as the one that you're putting it into so I've made sure 64 by 64 Okay, and we'll just do the same quickly for Peach, which is Lopunny, and Lopunny should appear there, as well as Karen, otherwise known as Dry Bones. <laughs> so that's Shinx there. So that's the icons changed. Obviously, you guys can change whatever you like. They've also got icons for the cups in here, um, but in general, that's just the characters. So we can close that bit and head up to the Brez files. Now these are the characters that appear on the podium and we're going to start by modding Mario. And this is the point where you would right click and export your model as a DAE, import it into Blender as an FBX and do your rigging for over whichever character you like, export it as an FBX, convert to a DAE and import back in here. So because we have done that in other tutorials, I'd advise watching those and I'll put the rigging tutorial on the cards now. Uh, so we will just simply replace this model with the model that we've already got for Weavile, which is in here. And I've saved it as an MLD0 because that means that it keeps the shaders as well. So remember, if you're importing as a DAE, you need to change your shaders and make sure you add the material references to LM0 and LM1. So that's pretty good. But as you can see here, Mario, sorry, Weavile has Mario's textures. And what we'll do is we'll just replace the texture that it's referencing, as we can see here. Mario, oh, that's the one I've saved, making sure, again, the dimensions are the same. You don't have to be the same as long as they're the power of two, then CTGP can read it, and we should have a nice looking Weavile model. There we go. And I'm just going to de delete the eyes because there are some textures that I don't need, and it's also a waste of file space. And just to quickly show you, you always click preview just to see how we're looking on the uh, on the model front, see if it works. Now just pull these two tabs up because it never does and this is if he's one play the frames there we go that looks pretty good if you ask me he's happy that he's one that's good 
So as you can see, he's rigged properly and everything. And that's where you would check that in Brawl Crate. So once that's checked, that's your model done. And that's the simple one that we will leave with Mario and Weavar. And we shall now quickly move on to the princesses. So we have Peach. But as you can see here, we have Peach in the dress and also Peach in the bike suit. So if you're modding one character over Peach, you want them over both car and bike models, you're going to have to replace both of these. Now, you would do the same again if you're rigging a different model in, but I'm going to skip that bit and I'm just going to pull in the Lopony model I've already got and I will show you the difference once they've both been replaced. So that one's texture reference looks very different to this one and that's because the reference is actually... Oh, we've got a not responding for a second here. Okay, so it finally loaded and basically you can see the texture reference is referencing this one whilst in here we're referencing the same thing but in the textures it there is nothing called that so we're just going to want to rename this one because it's the cart one and we're going to call it the exact same as the main texture which I know here is peach all now that should look quite awful yeah so what we'll do is we'll replace again that main texture with the lopony one making sure it's the same size and delete the eyes that was a nice little rhyme so there's Lopony and this one is referencing a correct texture however it's still the peach one so we want to replace that again the same one and delete the eyes so remember always add your shaders so it looks cool looks nice in the models and it's not too standout-ish so that's the princesses they always have a pc3 and a pc1 or a in rosalina's case here rs and rs3 and daisy's ds and ds3 so you, if you're modding one of those characters always remember to mod both files in the awards -ers. otherwise you'll get peach appearing when you use a cart for example and you win so the final one we can mod or the final example I will use is modding Karen <laughs> dry bones so we will be replacing dry bones with uh, Shinx who is a vehicle edit so this one we don't have to do any rigging you don't have to export anything all you want to do is import the model that you've got so this is the Shinx model from Poke Park that I've saved as a uh, MDL0 and I'm going to give it a texture reference called the same as these textures that I'm just importing here I'm going to duplicate that because that's how you can add new textures in uh, nice and easy you just have to rename them once you've done it again I've made sure all of these are to the power of 2 so CTGP will read them now I know this one needs to be called Colink for the reference to be correct this one, oh, it didn't let me rename it properly. Um, this one is Co. If I could spell, that would help. <laughs> Co link I D H, and then this one is Co link Mouth. Quite easy to remember. And now we should have Shinx. Okay, and just if you wanted to use shaders again, which it is a good idea. As you can see, I've added references to all of the LM0 and LM1 in all of the materials. And I've used the MK Wii shaders again. So that looks nice and shiny. So the problem is with a edit like this is you haven't used the Mario Kart Wii armature. So these bone references won't work with the animations and it will probably break the awards. So you're going to want to replace this with an animation that you've got from that file and in my case I'm luckily had one extracted for me a lot of Poke Park models were extracted by Bashi uh, slash Sammy who 
got me the animations as well as the models. So for this one, it's demo other, which is when they haven't won. And I'm just going to replace this with the weight. So he's sort of stood there and he's not too happy because he's not won. Now, he has sort of won. He's, he's sort of in the top seven, I think it is. Um, or he's on the team podium. This one is when you've come first or second or third. So they're really excited. So I found an animation and called it win. And I already scaled this one to the size that I know it need to be to be to show up on Mario Kart Wii. So I haven't scaled this one and I thought I'd just show you that this needs to be rescaled here. And that's what you'll need to do with your animations as well. Make sure they're scaled correctly, translated properly and all of that. So that's the custom animation model as well. And all you need to do now is save. And I'm going to save this into a location where I remember. So we've got the YouTube tutorials one here. And I've already got a, an award that I put in earlier. But I'm just going to overwrite that. And making sure it is called award. So it loads correctly into CTGP. And it's read properly. So save that should compress it quite quickly there we go and then all you do now is place that file on your SD card and we head over to the Wii so let's go check out and see if it's worked okay so as we can see here in the award ceremony there is the lovely Weavile happy as Larry winning and I've also allowed it to show you here the icons which we can see Weavile and Peach is Lopunny. So this is Lopunny, which I use the bike one, but I think both animations are the same. So that one also works. And finally we have Shinx. Again, doing the raw, as I said, because I wanted him to win properly. So I just pause it on this screen here. And there we go guys thank you very much for watching i hope this tutorial helps if you have any questions please put your comments down below and also any recommendations for upcoming videos i've seen a few so i'll be taking those into consideration and please subscribe if you haven't already i really do appreciate it and it really helps to make more content so thank you very much i'll see you this week for a dark blue episode Thanks for watching.